Mechanical problems involving two TSA X-ray machines are slowing the security screenings at Sioux Falls Regional Airport. Both scanners went down at the same time early this morning, creating a long line that stretched all the way downstairs into the lobby, while causing a half dozen air travelers to miss their flights. Kelly Lance Perry Groton has been checking on the progress of getting both machines up and running again. Well, Kelly, uh, technicians have temporarily fixed one of those x ray scanners. It's been screening bags throughout the day, but it's still not 100%. Replacement parts have been ordered for both machines. Meanwhile, air travelers have been taking the long lines in stride. Brookings newlywed Savannah Thorne is cutting her honeymoon flight close. I've got nine minutes, so we'll see if I make it. Thorne is flying to Miami, where she and her husband will embark on a cruise. A text alerted her about the screening delays at the airport. We just came as soon as we could and expected really long lines, so I think considering they're not as long as I thought they'd be, so it's moving pretty quickly. TSA is recommending travelers show up at least two hours ahead of their flights and check as many of their bags as possible. Too many carry-ons will only further slow the screening process. Airport administrators say the x-ray problems have been frustrating, but that they're working to try to keep everyone on time as they work their way through the lines. We know it's a very frustrating um, process to travel uh, to begin with, so when you add in some of these other un unforeseen issues, it's, it's a challenge. But travelers like Thorne say they're up to the challenge, as long as the lines keep moving. Well, it's definitely not the best situation, but I think everyone's taking it pretty well. Including you? Including me, I guess, for now. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Now, TSA is hoping the replacement parts arrive sometime today. TSA say it's possible that both scanners could be in operation when the terminal opens tomorrow morning.